first i will start with the paper pattern you have got topo sheet that is the first question and it is of 10 marks then we have maps part again of 10 marks please refer to the syllabus and uh, they have given you the locations that will be asked then we have mcqs again 10 marker for topo sheets you will get basic questions uh, based on drainage pattern the settlements you have to measure the distance as you can see questions on four figure grid reference is asked um, and you have to give the four figure grid of a settlement or a drainage pattern or a place then uh, what is the pattern seen what is the settlement seen the distance question is asked every year then what do you what do you mean by 3r in grid square 3 uh, 6 9 3 3 6 7 2 9 you'll have to look at the topo sheet and see which kind of settlement or which kind of uh, pattern is given right see map of india they have given this uh, in syllabus mountains peaks which will be covered for example karakoram aravalli then all these ranges vindhya satpura so on plains konkan malabar they are asked frequently desert only one desert will be asked thar desert then Indus, Jhelum, Satbuj and so on. So please go with the syllabus. You don't have to do anything out of syllabus. For your upcoming chemistry and physics board examination, I would like to tell you about two of my ebooks. That is all uh, reactions ebook for 10th class. And there is this uh, physics most important questions. You can see the links to both these ebooks is in the description box. You can buy it from there okay uh, so the first chapter you must prepare is soil resources this is a very easy chapter for this uh, questions on soil conservation then types of soils and the differences we have got black soil red soil uh, alluvial soil laterite soil their properties we have leaching property for uh, late right soil the water retention property so just uh, look at it then we have different types of soils uh, like bhangar khadar have a look on it okay the crops grown for example for uh, cotton cultivation black soil is the most suitable the areas where a black soil is there, red soil is there, they may ask you it in the map also to shade the particular area, right? Then for climate, we have uh, reasoning questions. Why is the annual range of temperature higher in Delhi than Mumbai? You'll have to tell about the winds that blow, okay? And what are the uh, um, beneficial local winds, the mango showers, why are they beneficial? Northeast monsoon bring almost no rain to most parts of the India. So you will have to give a valid reason for this. One question that is asked every year is regarding the climatic data. They will give you this data of temperature, rainfall and the months, right? And then you will have to calculate the, calc uh, the annual range of temperature or the annual rainfall. The difference between the um, date, the temperature and the temperature is the highest and the lowest, right? So these are the questions that will be asked. On which coast is the station located? Refer to the data given and answer it accordingly. Then uh, factors responsible for the climate of India and you know tropical monsoon type of climate prevails in India. You can also refer to the previous year questions and other school question papers that will be very helpful because a lot of uh, questions may be asked from this part, the reasoning one and you ha need to have a broad spectrum about this then uh, wa water resources is the chapter you can do see they have uh, different um, types of water uh, saving conservation systems like johards right then uh, for rain water harvesting the procedure and how can you save water conservation See, I'm referring to this specimen paper because um, this is the kind of question paper you expect, okay? For example, define surface water, ground water, mention advantages and disadvantages. 
please have a look uh, at this also the advantage of and disadvantage of each and every uh, water system water resources canals tanks etc then the modern irrigation system that is used recently like the furrow irrigation the spray irrigation drip irrigation etc then uh, mechanism of rainwater harvesting right uh, since it is the method of collecting rainwater for use before it reaches the ground generally rainwater is collected from the roof, uh, rooftop through pipes and uh, it is stored in underground structures right you can refer to the diagram as well then what are the elements of rainwater harvesting recharging the ground water by bore wells recharge pits and so on then for transport you can refer to golden quadrilateral which cities it connects and then um, they may give you a question that uh, airplanes air transport is uh, more faster than train or maybe any other question related to it give advantages of air transport and um, two advantages and one disadvantage then difference between oceanic and inland waterways advantages of waterways disadvantages of waterways and so on then we have natural vegetation chapter in this uh, there are different types of forest like tropical evergreen then uh, you can refer to its features the important species like rosebud um ebony then um uh, tune and so on you can also refer to their uses okay then we have tropical deciduous and remember to study the climatic conditions also the distribution as well then important species and their uses they may ask you a difference between tropical evergreen and tropical deciduous right there are other forests like mountain forest the alpine vegetation conservation of forests an important question that may be asked what are the steps what are the measures to conserve forest agroforestry right you can also attempt an extra question and that can be done from waste management if you just read waste management uh, twice you will be able to know what are the process uh, involved segregation dumping compositing reduce reuse recycle these are very very basic and easy concepts to understand now something important for the maps i would like to tell you um for example they will ask you to mark karakoram pass so you will do it like this and the arrow should be here okay and then you have to write karakoram pass sometimes you do it like this but i feel for the exact location you must use this arrow okay this seems very silly but it is uh, what it is and then uh, for example you have to mark black soil so you can show this region this part and shade it if there are two soils given in the question paper then you can mark it uh, with uh, maybe these sla uh, slashes or then that uh, red soil you can do it with dot at this portion is red soil and please mention this on the margin okay i have also made a map video you can refer to that thank you for watching this video i think this is all uh, for geography paper if you want me to make chapter explanations then you can comment thank you for watching this all the best for your examination